in the year of grace 2010 an innocent girl called little red riding hood is going to the lonely village of grandma cinderella along the way taken on board by two policemen hunting for evaders of laws prohibiting carnal coupling for demographic reasons and after having witnessed execution of the tempter lupo she has the opportunity to dream with desire of the possible pleasure of the place for 200 years before arrived at the village where neat the grandmother cinderella no grandfather blue exist anymore she is educated through recordings on the exploit of cinderella who from a prostitute of the lowest category to the envy of her sisters has become a star of blue international tv she made a lot of money and decided to leave the task of her difficult choice to her granddaughter let the world walk in vice or press the button of nuclear destruction little red riding hood opt for the atomic bomb giro giro tondo is a 1975 film directed by oscar brasi it is undoubtedly the most extreme cult film in oscar brasi's extremely cult filmography released in 1975 giro giro tondo the world is beautiful erotic sci-fi that develop a plot rehashed on some classic of the genre in the near future love is strictly forbidden and sport the reality so manhunt is popular complete with a dead man killed at the end of the race and a boom in the sale of rifles and precision weapons the population is pulled by the small screen that of us game shows advertisement and little else and a former expert begin to show signs of mental breakdown when inactive but extremely prone to the subject he also begin to be the victim of continuous female provocation plunged into a dangerous situation he escape and takes hostage the driver of a passing car who turns out to be a beautiful girl named little red riding hood who is returning home to her grandfather as usual brazi does not have large means at his disposal and his way of making cinema remains somewhat singular although 
without reaching the extreme of a Paul Sally, whose involvement in this film, moreover, cannot even be entirely excluded, echoing here and there his touch both in certain dialogues and in certain visual solution. However, he brings home a product that is at least curious for numerous reasons. First of all, the interesting mixture of rather disparate genre and element including the presence of his brother in a comic brilliant role, register on which he rightly set the whole film, but at the same time boldly extra cultistic, more typical of a Banfi or a Montagnani of the times with scantily clad girls climbing stairs to get books and him picking with a lot of nervous stick. The opening then to the aspect borrowed from the tale of Little Red Riding Hood says a lot about the singularity of the ideas of this director. Among the least seen of our cinema bees, here perhaps in his most interesting performance, at least for genre extremist, the departure of Giro Giro Tondo is rather delirious, in which we pass from the futuristic images of the titles, glimpses of building with a menacing avant-garde architecture at the time, with antenna and policemen of the future in coveralls, helmet and rifles laser. Two pseudo honoric sequences with Patricia Webley, who in 19th century costume rolls around in the meadows in slow motion, together with other page boys, showing her graces. Year 2010 an innocent girl called Little Red Riding Hood, while on her way to her grandmother Cinderella, who lives in a solitary villa, dreams of the love pleasure that were allowed 200 years ago, now for reason of demographic excess love is forbidden. When she arrives at her grandmother's villa, she finds no one, but thanks to recorded tapes, she knows about her grandmother's love life who to the envy of her sisters became a star of Blue International TV and left her granddaughter with a difficult choice. The girl will make a catastrophic decision. The invention of the cinematograph is linked to the name of two brothers, Augusti and Louis 
Lumar. Since then, in the history of cinema, there have been many brothers who, in collaboration or in competition, have dedicated themselves to this profession. There are many profession in cinema and in certain sector. Real dynasty of craft men and professional have formed over time. This aspect which characterizes Italian cinema in a particular way which has essentially remained an artisanal cinema is at the center of this review with which we aim to compare works linked to the names of brother or sisters. To better understand the weight that human relationship, personal and family have had in the development and quality of our cinema. Appointment are dedicated to the Brazi brothers Oscar and Rosano and to the Guerin brothers Ricardo and Sergio. Saving Face by Rosano Brazi A young man with few scruple is blackmailing an industrialist father of his girlfriend by handing him incriminating photos. The man who fear for his activity pays a large sum to the blackmailer but has his daughter locked up in a nursing home. Youth protest according to Rosano Brazzi also director for the occasion. A clash between fathers and sons that cruelly spills over on the whole of society. The Curse of the Devil by Oscar Brazzi. Oscar Brazzi style thriller in Istanbul with his brother Rosano's wife, who in the memory of a lesbian story, unleashes herself in the supernatural, besotted by the other local women. Starting with Silvia Cosina, not to fit, assistant turned to her surgeon husband. Still worth seeing, the only thing supernatural is the fact that the film had even a regional distribution. Round about with love, the world. A girl called Little Red Riding Hood lives in 2010. In a village, where she thought she would find Grandma Cinderella, instead she witnesses a film reconstruction of her life. From when she was a low-ranking prostitute to her consecration as a TV star. Her will is only one to leave her granddaughter the task of choosing between a world submerged in vice or detonating the atomic bomb. Patricia Webley began her career as an actress in erotic genre comedies in 1975 with the film 
ग्ली एंजेली डेल मनी बेन बंडाटे विथ रोजानो ब्राजी लेटर सी पार्टिसिपेटेड इन फिल्म्स सच एज द लीच लीड्स द डांस मूवी रस सिनेमा फीवर द गर्ल ओपे एंड मिक्स क्लास अमोंग अदर्स सी ऑल्सो मेक अ गेस्ट अपीयंस इन सलोन किटी फ्रॉम द अर्ली एटीज सी रिटायर्ड फ्रॉम द सीन हिज लास्ट अपीयंस इज डेटेड नाइनटीन एटी वन with the mini series the island of the seagull the liberalization of censorship and changing social mores during the 1970s meant that erotica began to permeate all genre and aspect of the italian film industry with startling and unsettling effect although this process continued into the 1980s it has widely been presumed that a later retrenchment of the commercial film industry coupled with the consequent need for television co-production function as the key determinant that motivated the return to a blender more universally acceptable fare however recent critical intervention that including land zone is comic study as well alongside the glen lombardy and oleri's collection terrorism italian style representation of political violence in contemporary italian cinema have begun to more fully consider how the turbulent political and social context of 1970s italy also affected the filoni produced during this period to this extent we would argue that markedly differing rendition of erotica between the 1970s and 1980s can be seen as much of a response to the wider social and political tension of the period as it was to transition in industry and production practices we will examine to filoni that placed particular emphasis on the erotic the love comedy and morbid erotic drama to explore how these films constituted both a reflection of and the response to broader socio-political tension and transformation of the period from the late 60s through to the early 80s italy witnessed a range of dramatic social upheaval and transformation the so called economic miracle so italy transformed from a primarily agrarian economy to a manufacturing based consumerist society 
while per capita income increased faster than any other European country from 100 to 234 between 1950 and 1970. These changes were more marked in the north causing massive internal migration over 9 million people between 1955 and 1971 which had an enormous socio-cultural impact in particular on the more traditional south for example the percentage of regular church goers in italy declined from 69 to 40 percentage from 1956 to 1968 the rapidity of these changes can perhaps partly account for the political polarization of the late 1960s which saw an increasing adherence to far left and far right parties coupled with an explosion of political violence that lasted throughout the NDP Yombo of the 1970s no less significant than the political turmoil of the period however were the changes to gender roles in a country which as the decade dawned remained highly conservative and catholic in outlook during this period women began to occupy a more central role in the economic and political sphere with female employment rising by nearly 50 percentage between 1970 and 1985 at a time when male employment remained stagnant under the influence of feminism traditional love mores and conception of womanhood began to be challenged as evidenced by the legislative changes that took place during this period the prohibition of female adultery was repelled in 1968 divorce was legalized by law in 1970 and ratified by means of controversial referendum in 1974 in which 60% of italians voted in favor 1975 referendum prompted by over 7 lakh signatures collected by feminist activist paradoxically however these progressive changes were accompanied by a dramatic increase in the consumption of female romance facilitated by the declining influence of the catholic church and liberalization of censorship although italian cinema had long alluded to an abashed image of female sensuality changes in social mores coupled with a gradual weakening of censorship restriction meant that love was to become both more central and explicit 
during this period while the passing of law in 1962 theoretically meant that films would only be censored if either individual scenes or the entire film offended good taste in reality a dramatic change in practice did not take place immediately nevertheless the hundred of denunciation and seizures that took place throughout the 60s and early 70s should be read not as evidence of the persistence of the value system of earlier decade but rather as an ultimately doomed attempt to stem the tide of changes during a period of dramatic transition the release of the first erotic publication for men in 1966 was the first step in a process that would lead inexorably to the opening of the first red light cinema screening hardcore in Milan a decade later on November 1977 in the year of grace 2010 an innocent girl called little red riding hood is going to the lonely villa of grandma cinderella along the way taken on board by two policemen hunting for evaders of laws prohibiting carnal coupling for demographic reasons and after having witnessed execution of the tempter lupo she has the opportunity to dream with desire of the possible pleasure of the place for 200 years before arrived at the villa where neither grandmother cinderella no grandfather blue exist anymore she is educated through recordings on the exploit of cinderella who from a prostitute of the lowest category to the envy of her sisters has become a star of blue international tv she made a lot of money and decided to leave the task of her difficult choice to her granddaughter let the world walk in vice or press the button of nuclear destruction little red riding hood opt for the atomic bomb Giro Giro Tondo is a 1975 film directed by Oscar Brasi. It is undoubtedly the most extreme cult film in Oscar Brasi's extremely cult filmography. Released in 1975, Giro Giro Tondo The world is beautiful erotic sci-fi that develop a plot rehashed on some classic of the genre in the near future love is strictly forbidden and sport the reality so manhunt is popular 
कंप्लीट विथ अ डेड मैन किल्ड एट द एंड ऑफ द रेस एंड अ बूम इन द सेल ऑफ राइफल्स एंड प्रसिजन वेपन्स द पॉप्युलेशन इज फोल्ड बाय द स्मॉल स्क्रीन दैट ऑफ हर्स गेम सोज एडवर्टीजमेंट and little else and the former expert begin to show signs of mental breakdown when inactive but extremely prone to the subject he also begin to be the victim of continuous female provocation plunged into a dangerous situation he escape and takes hostage the driver of a passing car who turns out to be a beautiful girl named little red riding hood who is returning home to her grandfather as usual brazil does not have large means at his disposal and his way of making cinema remains somewhat singular although without reaching the extreme of a paul sally whose involvement in this film moreover cannot even be entirely excluded echoing here and there his touch both in certain dialogues and in certain visual solution however he brings home a product that is at least curious for numerous reasons first of all the interesting mixture of rather disparate genre and element including the presence of his brother in a comic brilliant role register on which he rightly said the whole film but at the same time boldly extra cultistic more typical of a banfi or a montagnani of the times with scantily clad girls climbing stair to get books and him picking with a lot of nervous tick the opening then to the aspect borrowed from the tale of little red riding hood says a lot about the singularity of the ideas of this director among the list seen of our cinema bees here perhaps in his most interesting performance at least for zonre extremist the departure of giro giro tondo is rather delirious in which we pass from the futuristic images of the titles glimpses of building with a menacing avant-garde architecture at the time with antenna and policemen of the future in coveralls helmet and rifles laser two pseudo onaric sequences with patricia webley who in 19th century costume rolls 
around in the meadows in slow motion together with other page boys showing her graces year 2010 an innocent girl called little red riding hood while on her way to her grandmother cinderella who lives in a solitary villa dreams of the love pleasure that were allowed 200 years ago now for reason of demographic excess love is forbidden when she arrive at her grandmother's villa she finds no one but thanks to recorded tapes she knows about her grandmother's love life who to the envy of her sisters became a star of blue international tv and left her granddaughter with a difficult choice the girl will make a catastrophic decision the invention of the cinematograph is linked to the name of two brothers augusti and louis lumer since then in the history of cinema there have been many brothers who in collaboration or in competition have dedicated themselves to this profession there are many profession in cinema and in certain sector real dynasty of craft men and professional have formed over time this aspect which characterizes italian cinema in a particular way which has essentially remained an artisanal cinema is at the center of this review with which we aim to compare works linked to the names of brother or sisters to better understand the weight that human relationship personal and family have had in the development and quality of our cinema appointment are dedicated to the brazi brothers oscar and rosano and to the garan brothers ricardo and sergio saving face by rosano brazi a young man with few scruple is blackmailing an industrialist father of his girlfriend by handing him incriminating photos the man who peer for his activity pays a large sum to the blackmailer but has his daughter locked up in a nursing home youth protest according to rosano brazi also director for the occasion a clash between fathers and sons that cruelly spills over on the hall of society the cause of the devil by oscar brazi Oscar Brazi style thriller in Istanbul with his brother Rosano's wife who in the memory of a lesbian story 
unleashes herself in the supernatural besotted by the other local women starting with silva cosina not to fit a sister to her surgeon husband still worth seeing the only thing supernatural is the fact that the film had even a regional distribution round about with love the world a girl called little red riding hood lives in 2010 in a villa where she thought she would find grandma cinderella instead she witnesses a film reconstruction of her life from when she was a low ranking prostitute to her consecration as a tv star her will is only one to leave her granddaughter the task of choosing between a world submerged in vice or detonating the atomic bomb Patricia Webley began her career as an actress in erotic genre comedies in 1975 with the film Glee and Jelly Dell Money Ben Bandate with Rosano Brasi later she participated in films such as The Leech leads the dance movie ras cinema fever the girl ope and mix class among others she also make a guest appearance in salon kitty from the early 80s she retired from the scene his last appearance is dated 1981 with the mini series The Island of the Seagull The liberalization of censorship and changing social mores during the 1970s meant that erotica began to permeate all genre and aspect of the Italian film industry with startling and unsettling effect 